Hi, this is Dustine from Two Lucky Cats, and I just wanted to talk to you about some of the tools that you might want to get if you're working with fabric. If you already have things around the house that you can use, there's no need to go out and buy anything new. But I did want to give you some information about tools that I like to use because it'll make the job easier. One of the tools that I like to use is called a quilter's ruler. The one reason I like this, and they do come in different sizes, different lengths and widths, is because the ruler is transparent. So it's easy to line it up with a straight edge and to get an accurate measurement of different geometric shapes that you might be working with. And these, uh, the cost really depends on the size of uh, the ruler that you want to purchase. Another tool that I like to use uh, is this pair of titanium scissors. It's again by Fiskar and it's they're very sharp so it makes it easier to cut through fabrics. The only thing you want to be concerned about is if you have children you want to make sure that they don't get a hold of these because they are very sharp scissors. They cost about $16 a pair. Another pair of scissors I like are these four inch curved blade scissors again by Fiskar and they're really convenient to use if you're cutting out uh, different shapes or uh, appliques that have curved edges, using these scissors really make it easier to cut accurately. Another tool that I like to use is this vanishing marker. If you're working with uh, felt where you're not going to wash the finished product, it's really uh, much more convenient to use the vanishing marker to trace your patterns with. That way you don't have to worry about trying to uh, use water to uh, eliminate the uh, pattern marks. You can also choose Taylor's chalk or chalk because you can always brush those lines away when you're done. Another tool that I like to use is this uh, beading mat. It's just convenient to put the um, the beads out on this mat and you don't have to worry about them rolling around or falling on the floor. They only cost about a dollar fifty. The last tool I'd like to mention are hand sewing needles. I would just uh, recommend that you try different size needles and use whatever one feels comfortable with you and the kind that you can thread easily. The only, it, there's two things I would like to point out and that is if you're working with um, very lightweight fabric. You don't want to use a needle that is very thick because it'll leave holes in the fabric. If you're working with felt it really doesn't matter. The other thing is if you're beading and you're using small seed beads you have to pick a needle that has a small enough head to fit through the, uh, uh, the middle of the seed bead. If you don't have any hand sewing needles that are that small you can always buy what's called beading needles. They come in a longer length or a shorter length. And I personally prefer the shorter length because the longer ones are very thin and they tend to bend. And since I usually only bead one bead at a time, it's just easier to use the, the uh, shorter needle. So anyway, I hope this information will help you if you need to go out and purchase some tools to use in making your projects from fabric.